all the tickets and the fines and the... Isn't that where I get my driver's license? That's the new place next to Starbucks, right? It's a um, clerk that uh, probably helps out the judge, probably, you know, um, calls the court to order. I don't know. What was the question? That is the, the, the major question that I get uh, addressed to me, is what exactly does the clerk of court's office do? And it can be summed up into three components, efficiency, quality, and awareness. Good afternoon, Mr. Jack Thompson. May I help you? Our criminal department, our civil department, which includes county, civil, and circuit civil, our child support, traffic department, our technology department, recording department, Team court and branch offices. Were you going too fast? Because now you can even go faster online. Our technology has helped us open the courthouse and open the clerk's office 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In the past, not only did someone have to come all the way down to the courthouse, but they also had to pay for their searches and pay for their records. But now all that can be done online at no cost. Our IT department consists of six people, and we support over 200 people, which includes the judges, the state attorney's office, public defender, and the clerk's office. We do everything from internal programming, website maintenance, and creation. One of the most important things that we do in the clerk's office is to bring information technology to the public 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Anything that is available to the public can be accessed through our website. This includes all your civil, county, circuit civil, any deeds or mortgages that are recorded, some criminal records, anything that is not sealed or that is not uh, confidential. If you are concerned about someone you want to do business with or whether or not they have any problems, you don't have to call the clerk's office, you don't have to come down to the clerk's office, you can go online and check it. Information technology is the tool that we use to upgrade, to make things easier for our employees, to make things easier for the public at ClayClark.com. One of the major concerns or major complaints I get as a clerk of court uh, involves that area of child support because it is a, a crime that uh, has a victim, a victim that needs these monies usually to survive. The judge has already advised the, the payee how much they are to pay. In a lot of circumstances, they don't pay it. And as a result of that, we suspend driver's license, hunting license, license tags, etc. And there's a letter that goes out to me and to okay. my ex-husband that says okay. that if he doesn't pay a certain amount, that his driver's license will be uh, suspended. Hi, can I help you? Yes, I'd like to fill out the paperwork to have my, the, my ex-husband. The first time it actually worked, he did get his driver's license suspended in January. Immediately he went down and paid, and I got my check the next week. This type of plan has been so successful that we've collected in the last three years $3.1 million for those custodial parents that would never have been collected. It is an innovative, a very innovative plan because we've developed it here in Clay County and the Florida Association of Court Clerks is now using that plan and, and trying to spread that plan throughout the state of Florida. Yes, sir, Mr. How can I help you? Normally what we do is just coordinate all the uh, information for the judiciary. We handle all the case files, all the records, we accept all the payments and fines, fees and forfeitures, and then we collect those and forward those monies to the different agencies. And we do some other things. The clerk of court also is the recorder and handle all the deeds and all your public and official records for, on behalf of the county and protect the historical significance of those records. Quigley House is, is similar to child support in that we have victims involved in that that touches your heart. Uh, those are abused ladies and abused families, sometimes abused children inside of that uh, domestic violence. Uh, one of the things we noticed is that when we walked down the halls where Quigley was located, they had a very, very tiny office. So the people, the victims had to sit outside that office. 
they were scared because anybody could have walked, even the person that was abusing them could walk in at any moment. So we felt uh, that we needed to do something to protect them and to assist them. Before the new courthouse was built, we had a very cramped office at the um, old courthouse facility. It was, there was no privacy for the clients we served. There was definitely no security, so clients and staff were at risk. So we saw an immediate need to set a place up, which would be a counseling area, a place of privacy, a place of sensitivity for those victims. They have now three offices for private conversations. They have a waiting room. They have a place for the small children to be able to play and occupy their time while their parent is dealing with the situation. They do an outstanding service to the taxpayers of Clay County. Last year in 2007, they handled almost 700 domestic violence cases here in Clay County. All the departments are, um, for the clerk's office, as always, is located in one building. Again, the building is much bigger and they're a little spread out, so it's incumbent upon our unit as well as the contract security, getting security, to know exactly where um, each office is so that they can give proper direction to the customers coming in every day. All right. Thank okay. you. You're yeah, welcome. Bye-bye. Oh, so you just went back under receiving. I love Correct. the people of the county, and, and most of all, I love assisting them. A lot of them don't know where to go or how to get help, um, and we provide that for them. We'll go out of our way to provide that for them. You can do anything at the branch offices that you can do here in the clerk's office or the courthouse, except go to court, because the judges, of course, are located here in the courthouse. Do a marriage license, you can uh, file a deed, small claims, file a divorce. Um, everything that's available here in the clerk's office is available to you at the branch offices. As of right now, we're doing more work with less employees. We are down to five employees in this department and doing more work than we had when we had 11. James, yeah. Three years ago, in 2005, we examined every position. We examined every task. We combined a lot of those tasks and eliminated some positions. Right now, in 2008, we have less full-time employees than we had in 1998 when we took office. Yet our caseloads is significantly increased in every area. For instance, we now handle approximately 40,000 traffic citations a year as opposed to 17, 18, or 20,000 in 1998. But yet we've decreased staff within that traffic bureau. As a result of that, we're able to give monies back to the county commission every year and back to the state. These monies are monies that we collect through fines, fees, and forfeitures that we choose not to spend because we feel that uh, the taxpayers deserve the best product that we can give to them. As far as economizing, over the last two and a half years, we've returned to the, to the county over $3 million in monies that can be used for them in their general budget. These are monies that we've saved in the court side and the non-court side of our budget. This is the monies that we've saved by economizing. Uh, additionally, we've sent $1.1 million back to the state. So a total of over $4 million in the last three years we've given back to the taxpayers of Clay County and the taxpayers of the state of Florida. We firmly believe the citizens of Clay County deserve the highest quality of customer service available. Okay, thank you. We, and are, we are the Clay, Clay County, County Clerk of the Court. We consider that to be our job for Clay County. <laughs>